everyone welcome back to my channel this is Tara with Mayhem Crafty Cards and for today's card this is um, going to be my bicycle witch from the rabbit hole designs uh, this is my first video back since my surgery so it's a little a little rough but you know it's it's working so for my card I used the lawn fawn brick stencil and I used two distressed oxide inks one was pumice stone which is the first one I'm going to lay down right now and the second one's going to be hickory smoke. And I really like these for these types of backgrounds because it kind of gives it a grunginess to, you know, not just a basic white card. So yes, my surgery was successful. I am recovering right now. I'm sure in the video you'll see my hand where <laughs> I had my IV in and it, it bruised just a little bit. So this is, like I said, this is the Bicycle Witch from the Rabbit Hole Designs. It's, um, the stamp and coordinating die set that I'm going to be using. And of course I'm using my cottontail blending brushes because they just blend so seamlessly. Now I did end up zooming in a lot <laughs> and forgot to, you know, zoom you guys back out. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> but after I pull up the stencil, I do like to go around the edges because I don't want any bright white um, spaces on, left on the card where the brick is. So then, you know, once you lay the stencil down, I, I did not think to mask, so I just made it a little road for my witch to sit on. So yes, it's very nice to get back into, back into making videos. Um, I made a couple cards the other day. Uh, so it's just slow and steady right now until I can get back into, you know, my good routine. So like I said, I did stamp this using the cocktail, or I'm sorry, Bicycle Witch 4x4 stamp and I used the witch and I stamped out a couple of the bats and for my coloring what I did is I went in with uh, Karen markers and I used for her dress I used the olive green and I just blended that I just took the darker color towards the top and blended it down just so it would kind of gradiate down to a lighter green I know it looks super bright on camera but it's not as bright um, as it is in real life so that's what I used for her dress was the olive green and I do really like using these Karen markers but I have to use them on Bristol smooth because if not they just unless I do a wet on wet technique they just don't want to move so for me to use them um, I do like the Bristol smooth and I'm just taking my um, my smallest paintbrush and just dragging the color out I'm not adding anything else to it. I'm just kind of blending it down so that, you know, it kind of fades into a lighter green. And for some reason, I don't know why it looks so neon on my camera. And I did leave a couple boo-boos in. I mean, we all have them. It just happens. It's, <laughs> it's one of those things where just like, oh, just go with it. So I didn't do, I didn't leave all the coloring in. I just started with her dress. Um, and for her hair, I used canary and I just went along the outline just to add that little bit of color. And that's all you need. I mean, you literally just need one little swipe of it and you can drag it out as much as you, you know, as much as the paper will let you. So I just thought that she, you know, I've done all the witches so far and I have not done a blonde witch. So like you can see, I mean, I barely put any color down and I can just drag it. I probably didn't even need that much color to do her hair. But like I said, this is my first two couple cards <laughs> post-surgery. And it just felt nice to get back in my craft room because it was, you know, you just couldn't, with the type of surgery I had, I just couldn't sit um, in my chair, no matter how comfortable it is. So there I have her all colored. And what I did was I used the metallic um, blue Karen marker for the bike. Uh, just the black for, <clears throat> excuse me, <coughs> for her hat. <coughs> and then the bats. And you'll see my boo-boo. Here it comes. Because I <laughs> thought for some reason this was a shimmer black and it was not. So it was the Nouveau Obsidian. So I just kind of tried to fix that mistake as best as I could. 
And then I stamped out the sentiment, brooms are for amateurs. And I used the VersaClair Nocturne ink. I really am liking this for my sentiments. Um, and then I went ahead and just clear heat embossed that with uh, Brutus Monroe Icicle, which is one of my favorite clear embossing powders right now. Um, it just it works out really nicely. So for everything else, like for my witch, I did stamp her out using the Ink on 3 Blackout. Uh, that's what I use for almost all of my stamps now. I mean, I do use the, the Versify, or yeah, Versafine, Versamark, no, Versafine for most of them. But I just really like how nice and dark that uh, Versaclair is for my sentiments. So you'll see, I did go ahead and pop all these up. Um, I just wanted some dimension to my card because everything else just kind of seemed flat. So I did pop, I mean, from the bath to the sediment, everything got popped up. And then I did take some more of that mix between pumice stone and hickory smoke just so that sediment wasn't so bright white because everything else had that gray dullness to it. And then I went ahead and lined everything up. Um, and then I did actually add some sentiments or some embellishments after the video just because I <clears throat> wasn't sure where to exactly place them. I'm not one of those like just let them sit where they fall. I mean <laughs> they have to kind of be placed how I, I think they should be placed. So I just added the little bats um, kind of in like a random order. I tried to keep it so it wasn't so heavy on one side to the other. Uh, and then I did take the Nouveau Shimmer Pen and Midas Touch and went over the whole card. Here, <coughs> excuse me, is another boo-boo. So instead of doing the A2 size, I did the A6. And I'm sitting here thinking like, oh my gosh, like, why isn't this working? I'm trying to fix it. <coughs> excuse me. And then I'm, I'm just like, oh, okay, well, I did an A6. So I did fix it and do, do the A2 size. And it's just um, yeah, top folding. But yeah, uh, between my cardstock and struggling with my glue, it just, I mean, I, I really, I like how the card came out. I really enjoyed, you know, making this card. And I am all ready for Halloween. So I do line it up in my scoreboard just so I can make sure that everything lines up straight because I cannot line things straight to save my life. And I just used some dark gray cardstock that I had. I couldn't tell you where. It, it. I think it came from one of the kits. So here's where I come in with that Midas Touch for, with the Nouveau Shimmer Pen. And I just I did everything. And you'll see in the still pictures where I did put some embellishments. And those are from Sparkle Blends. That's from Storm Cloud. But I just thought it added a nice little pop to it. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for being patient while I've been recovering. And I will have some more videos coming to you guys soon. Have a great weekend, guys. Bye.